Welcome everybody, Audiohead here. Today we have a review of the Andromeda 5 driver, balanced armature driver, universal fit in-ear monitor from Campfire Audio, which is a subset of ALO Audio, Audio Lineout. It retails for $1,099, so right around $1,100. As I said before, five drivers per ear, universal fit, triple bore uh, technology, uh, one hole f to transfer bass sounds, one for middle and one for high. It's a pretty sweet piece. It uh, has a CNC'd from a block of aluminum casing with three uh, set screws on the top that kind of give it an industrial feel. I like the clean lines. I like the, the texture, the finish. It's all very more hard lines than a lot of the acrylic shells, but still an interesting look. It's the same look that's shared with the rest of the uh, Outer Space Galaxy Lide from Campfire, which come in at varying price points, but this one is the highest uh, price point. So it's the flagship as of, as of now. It comes with this handy dandy leather camp-ish uh, dark leather carrying case with a little bit of wool inside, a fun little aesthetic uh, to nod to the campfire, to camping. It also comes with a pretty sweet lint cable, they're called. Uh, copper, silver plated wire, MMCX connection at the end. And it's kind of the cable that you would see um, and an aftermarket hobbyist kind of thing. So it's it feels and looks like something that you buy. Uh, that they usually cost quite a bit of money, but they're aftermarket replaceable cables. Uh, there's a whole hobby dedicated to this. It's pretty fun, but this guy and every one of the line actually comes with one of these lens cables. So uh, the retail on the site is 150 bucks. So they threw in probably one of the sweetest cable standard I've ever seen in a package. So pretty pretty cool. Um, I like that very much. Overall, the sound tonally is very rich and does a really good job in the mids and lows. And the extension is actually fairly good too. It has a sound signature, a frequency response that I like very much. Uh, not too much trickery in the top end with a ton of treble trying to do detail. It has good de good detail partnered with really good tonality, which is a kind of a hard thing to do. Sometimes when uh, you go for m massive amounts of like micro level detail, you kind of get these weird analytical feels where it sucks the life out of the middle. It makes it sound hollow, tubish just kind of, you know, bored out. This does not suffer from that whatsoever. It's a great little presentation with a nice linear top to bottom frequency response, great detail, and great sound. Fun, energetic, lifelike, good, good stuff on this one. Um, very impressed with it. Of course, the price is, um, a, you know, over $1,000, which is a lot of money for almost everybody. However, in the field of universal IMs, as they've developed, they've gone much higher than that. So they didn't swing for the rafters on this guy. It actually lands for a flagship at a very good price point at $1,100 when you see products that cost much, much more than that in the field. So all being said, very impressed. It's the Campfire Andromeda. I am. You can find more information on the website, campfireaudio.com. Till next time, guys. Thanks.